This is part 32 of Angular Grad tutorial. In this video, we will discuss Angular's ng switch directive with an example. So, here is what we want to do. Notice on our list page, at the moment, we are displaying employee's department ID. For an end user, this department ID does not make any sense. So, instead of displaying the department ID, let's display the corresponding department name. Here is our department data. If the department ID is 1, then we want to display its corresponding department name, help desk. If it's 2, then HR, so on and so forth. If you have experience with any of the object-oriented programming languages like C++, C Sharp or Java, then chances are you are already familiar with switch case statement in one of these languages. Angular switch case is very similar. It's actually a combination of three directives, ng switch, ng switch case, and ng switch default. Let's look at these directives in action. This is the div element that displays the department row on our list page. So this expression right here returns us the department ID. Now what we want to do is depending on the department ID, we want to display their department name. So on this div element, let's use ng switch directive. And we want to bind this to employee.department property. Since we are binding to a property, let's wrap ng switch within a pair of square brackets. Now we always need this colon, so I'm going to leave that alone. And we no longer need this expression, so let's delete that. And we know this department property is going to return us the department ID. So if the department ID is 1, then we want to display its corresponding department name, help desk. So for that, let's use ng switch case. I'm going to include it on a span element. ng switch case is a structural directive. So let's prefix it with an asterisk. So if the department ID is 1, then the name of the department that we want to display is help desk. Similarly, if the department ID is 2, then the department name is HR. If it's 3, then the department name is ID. And if it is 4, then the department name is payroll. Let's also include a default case. If the department ID value is not 1, 2, 3 or 4, then we want to display something like invalid department or not applicable or something else that makes sense as far as your requirement is concerned. I'm going to display not applicable. So instead of using ng switch case, we use ng switch default. With the default case, we don't check for any value. So let's remove the sequels here. And the text that we want to display is NA for not applicable. Let's save our changes and then take a quick look at the browser. Notice now, for all the existing employees, we have the department name displayed as expected. Now let's create a new employee and quickly verify. Now let's select payroll as the department. Let's save our changes. Here is our newly created employee, Robert, and look at his department. It correctly displays the department name. Here is that same example which we just discussed. Now one important point to keep in mind is if multiple switch cases match the expression value, then all those switch cases are displayed. Let me actually show you in action what I mean. Notice here we already have an ng switch case with a value of 3. I'm also going to change this switch case value to 3. So now if this expression employee.department if it returns 3 then both these switch cases will become true. So against that employee we will see the department as HR and IT. Now notice this first employee mark his department ID value is 3. So we see his department as HR ID. And the same is true for this last employee, John. Now if we take a look at the second employee, Mary, look at her department name, NA. Why is that? That's because her department ID value is 2. And for 2, 
we don't have a matching ng switch case. So it falls to ng switch default and we get to see na against Mary. Now we don't want to be checking for three twice. So let's undo our change. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.